This movie shows an envelope being made for a vacuum device, such as a triode. First, a 22mm tube is scored all the way around. The score mark is then moistened and heated using a nichrome wire. This cleanly severs the tube. The tube is then suspended from a slowly rotating rubber bung and heated in the middle using a torch. The tube eventually separates into two halves with cone-shaped ends. Each half can be used to make an envelope. The tip of the cone is removed with a sharp edged file. The end is then squared up using a flat file. A 5mm tube for the exhaust is then prepared. This tube will be used to connect the device to the vacuum pump. The envelope is then mounted on a rubber bung on the lathe and run as slowly as it will go. It is first gently heated using a yellow flame. The end is then torched to round it and to close the hole down to match the exhaust tube.
Further use of the yellow flame partially anneals the glass to relieve stress. Joining the exhaust tube to the envelope is more easily accomplished using a simple jig. The exhaust tube is mounted on a rod which is threaded through the envelope and out through the back of the headstock of the lathe. It is then first gently heated using a yellow flame and then the joint is heated to melting. When the ends are glowing red, the lathe is stopped and the rod pulled and pushed to make the join. Three envelopes at a time are then thoroughly annealed in the oven. The glass type is shot AR glass with an annealing point of 530 degrees centigrade. The oven controller slowly ramps the temperature up to the anneal point where it is maintained for 20 minutes before being ramped back down. Finally, the exhaust tube is necked to facilitate closure when attached to the vacuum pump. 